So I'm going to take you through how I rig up my bait. I've got, at the moment, I've got some garfish, some mullet, some fresh um, bait from this morning that we caught, and also some squid. You can use this on a single hook or a gang hook or, or a snelled. Basically, the principle's the same. It doesn't change whether I'm droning or I'm casting. I, I use the same thing every time. Um, and I'm going to show you two variations, one with the foam around your hook for buoyancy and the second for no foam, single hook. You, like I said, you can use this for um, a snelled setup or whatever you, whatever you choose. So you're going to need some cotton, ghost cotton, latex cotton, whatever you want. I like this stuff because it has a bit of stretch and I can wrap it around really, really tight. So to start off, I've got some guardy and I've got some mullet and I prefer to put them skin to skin with the flesh on the outside. So I'm going to wrap that up, not too aggressively at this stage because I'm still going to add a bit more bulk to it. And you've got to make this proportional to your hook. But obviously the smaller, your, smaller the hook, the smaller the bait. Okay, so that's that. Gonna throw in a little bit of scaly. That should be enough. And then I've got some squid here. And ideally, if you've got the head, you wanna put that up at the end that the eye of your hook is going to sit. So mine's going to sit. I always put the fatter end of my bait at the bottom and the skinnier end of the bait at the top. So that's going to sit there like that. And the reason why I do this is it's all about putting smell in the water. More bait, more smell. Okay, now we're going to go hard with the cotton. This makes it harder for the pickers to get your bait off. And there you go. One bait bomb. If you're using this, with foam, it's a little different, not too much different. So I've got some flesh here. I need to size that up, so I need to come out a little bit lower. So I'm going to stick my hook through, try and get these lined up as good as you can. About there. I'm going to wrap your bait around that foam. This I go pretty hard with the cotton because it's the first layer. I don't want it coming off and exposing the foam and the fish pecking away at the foam. And you can see the bait covers the eye of the hook. So that's where you're going to put most of your binding, just to secure it from sliding. And like I said, we go pretty heavy. Try and keep your hook in the center. Now you could throw that out as is, I reckon. We're going to add a bit more to it. And ideally, you want to add it to the back, so that if you add it to the front, look at how much hook exposure you got, it's not a lot. Put it on the back, way more hook exposure, yeah? It gets a bit tricky now, because everything's sliding. Just get a couple in there to secure it. top 
dozen times or so. You don't have to cotton that up if you don't want to. Sometimes you can let that just flap around, adds a bit more movement in the water. And we're done. Really good bait for Mulloway, snapper, whatever you're chasing, land based. Out here, I don't know, anything comes through. But the pinkies are active, so there you go. Alternatively to the end of that, you can get a big piece of squid, bash it down with a hammer, make it nice and tender and get the oil out and then wrap it around the whole thing just to give it that extra punch, add that extra scent and, and oil into the water. Uh, but that's it guys. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like and share it. Uh, I'd like to hear down in the comments section how you do your baits. Until next time guys, take care, be safe.